Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday, October 29th. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 29. The third note continued. This joy is a divine gift, coming from union with God in Christ. It is still there, even in times of darkness and difficulty, giving cheerful courage in the face of disappointment and an inward serenity and confidence through sickness and suffering. Those who possess it can rejoice in weakness, insults, hardship, and persecutions for Christ's sake. For when we are weak, then we are strong. O God, you resist the proud and give grace to the humble. Help us not to think proudly, but to serve you with humility that pleases you, so we may walk in the steps of your servant Francis and receive the gift of your grace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. God rules over all the earth. O come, let us worship. The Vanity Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Psalms appointed for this morning are Psalms 26 and 28. Give judgment for me, O Lord, for I have lived with integrity. I have trusted in the Lord and have not faltered. Test me, O Lord, and try me. Examine my heart and my mind, for your love is before my eyes. I have walked faithfully with you. I have not sat with the worthless, nor do I consort with the deceitful. I have hated the company of evildoers. I will not sit down with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocence, O Lord, that I may go in procession round your altar, singing aloud a song of thanksgiving and recounting all your wonderful deeds. Lord, I love the house in which you dwell and the place where your glory abides. Do not sweep me away with sinners, nor, let my, life, nor my life with those who thirst for blood whose hands are full of evil plots, and their right hand full of bribes. As for me, I will live with integrity. Redeem me, O Lord, and have pity on me. My foot stands on level ground. In the full assembly will I bless the Lord. O Lord, I call to you. My rock, do not be deaf to my cry, lest, if you do not hear me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my prayer when I cry out to you, when I lift up my hands to your holy of holies. Do not snatch me away with the wicked or with the evildoers who speak peaceably with their neighbors while strife is in their hearts. Repay them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their actions. According to the work of their hands, repay them and give them their just deserts. They have no understanding of the Lord's doings nor of the works of his hands. Therefore he will break them down and not build them up. Blessed is the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my prayer. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and I have been helped. Therefore my heart dances for joy, and in my song will I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a safe refuge for his anointed. Save your people, and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them, and carry them forever. Blessed are you, strong shepherd of your people. You hear us when we lift up our hands in prayer, and through your Son, Jesus Christ, you give us the promise of an eternal inheritance. Blessed are you forever. 
Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ According to Luke Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. While he was saying this, a woman in the crowd raised her voice and said to him, Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breast that nursed you. But he said, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. When the crowds were increasing, he began to say, This generation is an evil generation. It asks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. For just as Jonah became a sign to the people of Nineveh, so the Son of Man will be to this generation. The Queen of the South will rise at the judgment with the people of this generation and condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to listen to the wisdom of Solomon and see something greater than Solomon is here. The people of Nineveh will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, because they repented at the proclamation of Jonah, and see, something greater than Jonah is here. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it in a cellar, but on the lampstand, so that those who enter may see the light. Your eye is the lamp of your body. If your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. But if it is not healthy, then your body is full of darkness. Therefore consider whether the light in you is not darkness. Then, if your whole body is full of light, with no part of it in darkness, it will be as full of light as when a lamp gives you light with its rays. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the church throughout the world. We pray for churches that are under persecution or threat. We pray for churches that are struggling to have their voices heard. We pray for the Anglican Communion throughout the world, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of the Northern Lights, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. We also pray for our church leaders, for Bishop Rachel, our Metropolitan Greg, our National Archbishop Chris, our Acting Primate Anne, and for the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. O Lord, guard and direct your church in the way of unity, service, and praise. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the world. Most especially we pray for those places where there is warfare, famine, disease, man-made or natural disasters. Most especially we pray for the people of Palestine, Israel, Ukraine, and Russia. Give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those among us this day who will feel the effects of systemic racism and prejudice. Those who will be persecuted because of the color of their skin, their manner of dress, their language, their customs. Cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. Lord, 
Hear our prayer. We pray for those this day who will suffer from the effects of poverty and homelessness. Those who will struggle to find their daily bread in our land of plenty. Those who have no safe space to lay their head. Those who must make difficult decisions about what they can provide for themselves and their families and what things they must leave behind. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise, that all may share the good things you provide. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, for those in our hospital, our nursing homes, any awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation. And we give thanks for the healers, for our first responders, for doctors, nurses, and medical technicians, for researchers and scientists. And in this community, we give thanks for 7th Street Access, Samaritan House, Helping Hands, Safe and Warm, and the Bear Clan, and the Blue Door. Strengthen all who give their energy or skill for the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those among us today who are struggling, for those who are worried about the current economic situation, those who are struggling with the political climate, those who may have family or friends that are in trouble, those who are just fearful and worried for the future. Set free all who are bound by fear and despair. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying and your comfort to those who mourn. Lord, hear our prayer. In our prayers for the Third Order, we pray for the province of the Americas, for Central America, for Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Panama. And we pray for Christina, Joseph, Gretchen, Linda, Nancy, Estelle, Eileen, Jack, Marta, and our companions. For those in vocation, for our sisters of the CSF, for our brothers in the SSF, and for all of our sisters and brothers in the Third Order. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray, that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord God, our Redeemer, who heard the cry of your people and sent your servant Moses to lead them out of slavery, free us from the tyranny of sin and death, and by the leading of your Spirit, bring us to our promised land through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen. <laughs>